It's an absolutely beautiful, crisp December day. It is beautiful out. Heading down to Midtown Manhattan, gonna check out some of the holiday decorations. This is a strange year also. I mean, with the pandemic and everything, obviously it's not gonna be the same with the decorations, the amount of people, the crowds. And I also feel like as I get older, it just doesn't have that same magic as it used to. But despite everything, we're gonna make the best of it. So let's head to Manhattan. Made it to Manhattan. Now there are holiday decorations throughout the city, but some of the most famous and notable are here in Midtown. That's why I'm here, and let's go see some holiday crap. So behind me is the Bloomingdale's on Lexington Avenue. They got a really, really nice window display this year. Really fancy and bright, but the really cool thing is there's these little tubes in the windows that puff out this amazing smell. I don't know what it is, but it smells divine. So one of the other things about the display, the mannequins that they have in the windows, super hot, really heating up the holidays. Love the Snow Queens. Really cool Christmas display at the fountain across from the Plaza Hotel. The Plaza Hotel is of course from Home Alone 2, one of the best Christmas movies. I really enjoy checking out these holiday lights, but really gotta get some food now. It's almost 1.30 and I need to eat. So I'm heading south to the place I want to have lunch at and I keep getting distracted by all these amazing holiday decorations. Gotta focus on food now. That's a priority. That was a really cool display. It's like a strand of tangled lights. Really cool. Still heading towards food. Where it feels like every damn block there's some nice Christmas decorations. Come to 6th Avenue, tons of Christmas decorations here. Finally got some food. Feels good to sit down and relax a bit. I got uh, chicken tenders from Stickies. So Stickies is a local New York City chicken fingers chain. It's really good, it's quick, fast. Uh, they got good chicken tenders. And I got one of their kind of combo type things there. This is called the Vampire Killer. I think garlic at uh, Parmesan cheese. Looks really good. Should taste pretty good too. All right, finally lunch time. Looks really good. Mm. That's really nice. I mean, once again, I had this, I had these chicken tenders before, not this flavor combo, but good chicken tenders. Really enjoying the flavors in here, the garlic, the cheese. I can see why they call this a vampire killer. Breath is gonna stink for the rest of the day, but whatever, really good. That at the spot. Although when it's 36 degrees out, my food gets cold really fast and sorry to eat it really fast, but now definitely need some caffeine and then it's on for more holiday stuff. Just got a double espresso from Le Pain something something. Uh, it's caffeine, so that always makes me happy. My mood should improve by a few points. Oh yeah, that is the spot. There is nothing like the nice warming sensation of a hot beverage, especially caffeine, coffee, espresso coursing through the body. Oh, feels so good. 
on a cool winter, well, almost winter day. All right, now that I'm caffeinated, it's time to explore one of the top holiday spots in New York City, the Bryant Park Winter Village. Let's just hit this one store here. Really nice, they had these really beautiful looking ornaments, but $30 each. This place isn't cheap. Yeah, the high prices, that's another reason why I decided to eat away from the village. Got a very 2020 outdoor dining set up there, dividers between all the tables. Pretty nice. The Winter Village at Bryant Park was very nice. Uh, not as good as last year, but that's obvious. I mean, we're in a pandemic. It's not gonna be as crowded. There's not gonna be as many stores, but still really nice. So I'm pretty cold right now. And one of the plus sides of uh, wearing masks in this pandemic covers up all the snot and crap all over my face. Waiting right now for the Sex Fifth Avenue light display. Should be good. During the evening, at 10 minute intervals, a stunning light show with music plays on the exterior of Saks Fifth Avenue throughout the night. It's an awe-inspiring sight, except if you're one of the security guards stationed on the sidewalk handling crowd control, it probably is driving them crazy. Really incredible light show, now I'm checking out the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, stunning as always. I mean, it's one of the most famous Christmas trees in the world. It should be crowded, but it is a pandemic, so it was a little uh, unnerving seeing all those people there. But at the same time, I do feel more in the holiday spirit, feeling good today. There are, of course, a number of other amazing holiday sites still left to see in New York City, but today, I think that will do it for me because, well, I'm freezing my butt off and it's time to get home and have some dinner. <laughs>